Good day, Park Liter Warrior students. It's me, your coach, Coach Noel. So again, I'm in the gym right now. So I'm preparing another activity for us. So agility, balance, and coordination. So as you can see at my back, so I have a lot of materials that are already prepared. I'm going to show you later on what are these materials and how we are going to use these materials in our activity for today. But before that, we're going to do first the warm-up exercise. So as I keep on telling kids, do the warm-up first before you do any workout or any sports so that you can avoid injuries, you can eliminate muscle pain, and of course, there will be a coordination with your all your muscles. You, don't forget to do this one and bring with you your water every day so you can give yourself a time of 30 minutes to do the exercises. This is one way in showing your love to yourself. I encourage you to do the exercises regularly. This is for your own good. It will make you physically fit and active, especially in doing your virtual PE lesson and of course, with your virtual, uh, virtual lessons in all your different subjects. Okay. Let's do first the warm-up. Okay, kids. First warm-up is jogging on the spot. So we need to jog in our place. Okay. So you need to swing your hands. You need to raise your knees also. Do as I do. Up next is star jump. So it's just like the typical jumping jack. The only difference is you're not going to raise your hands above your head. It's only on your shoulder level like this. Okay. We're going to do this one, 15 counts. If you're ready, kids, I'm ready. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, we're going to make big circle this time in opposite direction. Okay, so if you're going to do this way, your right hand will be moving forward like this, and your left hand will be moving backward like this. So they have been opposite direction. Okay. We're going to do it at the same time, kids. Okay. So, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. Good job, kids. This time, let's do the opposite. Okay, so let's switch this time. If you are ready, I'm ready. Okay, do it this way. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. Arm scissor. So we're going to do it this way. So swing your hands in front of your chest or across your body like this. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So we are done with number four. We will now proceed to number five. This is jump lunge. So, do this position. So this is the knee lunge position. So need to jump using this. So make sure you're going to switch legs. Okay, do it this way. Okay. Kids, if you're ready, let's do it. This time we're going to make it 15 counts. Ready? One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. Up next is calf raises. So where are our calf? On this part, these are our calf. So we need to exercise them also. We need to warm them up. Okay. Hands on your waist. So we're going to do the tiptoe. So do it this way as high as you can. Do it in 15 counts. Okay. Ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. Okay. Good job, kids. Okay, this time, let's do this one. So we need to balance ourselves by raising our hands on our side. Okay. So we are going to use only one leg to do the tiptoe. Ready? This time, let's make it five counts only. One, two, three, four. Five. Okay. Fits legs. Ready. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Whew. Up next is ankle roll. Okay. Same position, same movement. Okay, the difference only is you need to run your toes towards your right or run to your right and run to your left okay if you're ready kids I'm ready let's do ankle roll ready one turn to your right two three four five six seven eight nine ten let's do it backward one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay you need to switch once again. Ready. Turn to your right. One, two. Or run to your right, rather. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Next exercise is toe touch. Okay, you need to move your feet as far as you can. Then, let's do this one. The alternating hand touch your toes. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. Okay, we are not done yet. So, next exercise is closing and opening the gates. So, how can you do this one? You need to do it this way. I'm going to show you. Okay. Okay. So, we're going to do that one. 15 counts. Okay. Hands on your waist. Ready. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. This time, let's do the reverse. Ready. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, one last, fifteen. Okay. Good job, kids. Finally. We're done with the warm-up, so I'm sure you're ready now to go for our workout. As you can see, materials are over here. 
are ready. So let's pause for a break. Let's have water break first, and after that, we will now proceed to the workout. Okay. Okay, kids. First workout for today is figure of eight. So as you can see, I have two cones on my left and my right. So I'm back to position on my left cone. So I'm going to slide down, going back to the other blue cone, doing the back pedal. And of course, I need to circle the cone in and out. Okay, do this one within 10 counts. So if you don't have any cone at home, you can use boxes or any thing that you're going to identify your point A and point B. Okay, let's start now, kids. Okay. Good job. So you need to run backward. One. Two. Three. You need to swing your hands also. Three. Four. Five. Five more, six, seven, eight, nine, one last. So good job, we're done already, figure of eight. Okay. Up next is side to side. So I need to move towards my right side and my left side and I need to touch the tip of the cone. Same we do with the other side, like this. Okay. Kids, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's do side to side. Okay, starting point is at the middle. Okay, I'm going to run towards my right. Ready? One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, three more, eight, nine, one last, ten, oh, okay. So this kind of exercises test your agility. So, you can move as fast as you can, and of course, you're going to make the cones three to four meters apart so that you have the time to run back and forth towards your left and right side. Okay, kids, let's pause for a break. Let's have water break once again so that we can recharge our energy. Up next is balancing with one foot. As you can see kids, I have the cone and a bigger size of a volleyball. So I need to balance using my one leg. So I need to raise my hands on my side to keep my balance as well. And I need to raise my one leg at the back. And of course, don't forget to let your forehand touch the ball. Okay, we're going to do it that way. So this time, Five counts on our right leg, and of course, another five counts on the left leg. Okay, if you're ready, kids, we will start now one leg balancing. Okay, I'm ready. 
One. Two. Three. Four. One last. Five. Okay. Let's do on the other side. One. Two. Three. Four. One last. Five. Okay. Job well done, kids. Okay. Next workout for balancing is, again, as you can see, I'm holding a tennis ball. So I need to bounce this one on the ground. Okay. Exactly the same position with the first balancing activity a while ago. So I need to do it this way. Okay, I need to bounce the ball on the ground, then I need to catch it with one hand. Kids, if you're ready, I'm ready. You need to bounce it and catch it with one hand. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Let's do it on the other leg. Let's switch. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Good job, kids. We'll have second round. Again, let's do it five times. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's proceed on the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So next activity for balancing. So as you can see, I have with me orange foam noodles and of course an orange bean bag. So I'm going to position the bean bag on the floor closer to me. Then what I'm going to use is this foam noodles. So I need to use one leg also to keep my balance. And what I'm going to do is I need to push the bean bag as far as I can. Okay, and keep your balance. Good job, kids. Okay, let's see how far I can go. You can do this one in your house. Okay, good job. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, good job, kids. So if you don't have foam noodles, you can use a stick. And if you don't have a bean bag, you can use any object that you can push. Okay, now let's switch. Okay, so my left leg will do the balance this time. Okay, kids, if you're ready, let's do it at the same time. Okay, good job. Uh, let us see, let's compare. Who is farther leg or right leg? Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, double done. Okay, do it one more time. Okay, we'll see how far this bin bag will go as I push it forward. Okay, one, two. Three, four, five. Okay. Finally, the last one. Okay. Keep your balance, kids. Okay. What? Five, four. Three, two, one. Okay. Woo. You've done a great job for today. Good job, kids. Okay. 
Next workout will be our coordination. Okay. So I have with me a bean bag. So I'm going to flip up the bean bag and catch it with the one hand. So if I'm going to put the bean bag on top of my toes, right toe, I need to catch it with my right hand. Okay. With this way. Okay. As you can see, I catch it with my right hand. So we're going to do this one five counts. Then after that, left foot with your right or left hand. If you're ready, kids, let's do it. Okay. One. Two. So sit with you can catch with one hand. Three. Four. One last. Five. Okay. So this time, we're going to test also the coordination of your left foot with your left hand. Okay. One. Two. Three. Two more. Four. Finally, one last. Five. Okay. This time, let's switch. So, right toe, you're going to catch it with your left hand. And left toe, you're going to catch it with your right. Okay. Again, five counts each. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay. Good job, kids. Let's switch this time. So, left foot, you're going to catch it with your right hand. One. Two. Three. Four. One last. Five. Okay. Good job, kids. Whew. As you can see, I have with me a tennis rocket and of course a purple bean bag again. So this will test again the coordination of your leg and your hands. Okay. So you need to throw the bean bag up on the air. So you need to catch it with the rocket that you are holding. Okay. So do it this way. Okay. Okay. Double done. So we're going to do this one, five counts. Okay kids, if you're ready, I'm ready. Okay, one, two, three, four, one last, five. Okay, this time let's do it on the other hand. Okay, one. Two, three, four, one last, five. Okay. Good job, kids. We're done with the workout, kids. So we'll now proceed to the cool down. Okay. So we need this cool down also to relax our muscles. So don't ignore this one. Make sure you're going to do the cool down after any workout or any sports that you undergo okay first cool down is so you need to do this stationary marching like this okay so let your legs go swing your hands okay keep going so this will relax all your muscles from your legs all the way to your shoulders to your hands your back, even your core muscles, muscles in your legs, also cool down. Okay. Next cool down exercise is arm stretch. So let's do this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Switch arms. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. 
Next is elbow stretch. You need to stretch our elbow at the back of our head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, double that kids. Okay, do it this way. Okay. So body twist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Shake it off. Okay. Now let's do one leg out. Okay, kids. Do it this way. Grab your toe if you cannot. Just hold your ankle. Make sure you're not going to bend your knees. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Do it on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. This time, two legs out, kids. Okay. Two legs in, then after that, two legs out. Okay. Ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, this time, two legs out. Ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and finally the last one. Let's do the butterfly. Okay, ready. Okay, make sure you want to move your toes or your feet towards your body. The closer it is, the better. Okay, and you need to push your knees a little bit. Okay, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Shake it off, kids. Do it this way. Whew. Okay. You've done a great job for today. So we finish agility, coordination, and balancing. Okay. So make sure you're going to do this one also at home. Give yourself 30 minutes workout every day. That is good for you. Okay. Ready to go. Ready to pop up, kids. Okay. Good job. So this is your coach, Coach Noel. So thank you again for joining me in doing this virtual PE lesson. So hope to see you guys. So bye. God bless.